Hello to my Taurus. This is Queen Amun-Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy Sunday. You may be watching this video on Saturday or whenever you see it, but the reading is for the 14th of January through the 14th of February. Let's get into it, Taurus. I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. The moon is now in Pisces. So if you've been having some kind of emotional kind of roller coaster, don't even stress out. It's the moon in Pisces, okay? We're still in a new moon phase. We haven't even made it to the first quarter moon phase. So let's see what your cards have to say. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Taurus. There's a lot of people like, I mean, like the moon in Pisces. I'm going to give you questions for the moon in Pisces because it can feel like an emotional roller coaster. You can literally feel like you're on top of the world after realizing, hey, that moon in Aquarius, okay, I need to focus on what is stopping me from living my absolute ideal life, right? And I got a purpose on this planet to help somebody else to change their lives. And then here comes the moon in Pisces. Smack you upside. <laughs> you know, so anyway, so let's get into it. Let's get right into it, Taurus. First card is the Magician card. Here we have the Star card. Here we also have the Devil card. Here we also have the Tower card. Here we have the Fool card and also the Lover's card. All right, so the Magician card is attached to Mercury. So here we have the Star card. We also have the Devil card. We also have the Tower card. Somebody is definitely having some kind of an awakening. Um, the Tower card. You're definitely having some kind of an awakening that you are a star, right? And... Um, and just the messages that you send out to the universe come back to you. Somebody's feeling changed, liberated, and free, you know, from something now that something is closed out. And you've definitely moved on from something. I think the important thing is, you know, for somebody, I'm looking at the devil card, right? So the devil card is attached to our temptations, whatever the temptations of fear, doubt, uncertainty, whatever it is. And so source is saying you're getting a lot of messages coming through. A lover's card is coming through. Lover's card is about partnerships, partnerships in love and or in business. And so somebody is definitely one having an awakening that you have purpose. This is your star, right? Star sign slash sun sign, right? You have purpose. And in the past, somebody may have felt like their demons actually held them back from their purpose. Like, you know, that idle time. I don't really know why I'm here on, on planet earth. And it may have, my mind may have drifted off in some whole lot of other different directions. And so source is saying now that somebody is bringing some structure to some things and some kind of partnership in love and or in business is coming across your path. It could be a lot of emotions floating around thinking about, mm, do I want to enter into a love relationship again? Or do I want to enter into a certain type of relationship? Again, the devil card has come out in quite a few readings and that devil card can cause you to be nervous when it comes to love again or partnerships again, whether it's partnerships and like I said, business. Business can also be a new job. You know, it, they just the thought of it, right? Here we also have the Ten of Swords. Here we have the Wisdom card, El Bobo. We also have the Two of Swords. Here we have the Five of Wands and then also the Four, the four of Wands. Okay. All right, so yeah, somebody may have definitely gone through some situations where you may have experienced some Judas spirits, right? But you were the first Judas spirit. And I would say this to any Zodiac sign because in order for people to feel that comfortable with putting, first of all, after the first sword, somebody should have said, mm -mm, I'm never feeling that kind of pain again. But somebody laid around for 10 swords, 10 sword moments to happen. Boom, boom, boom. That's like somebody, you know, being around people who are smiling in your face and then betraying you behind your back. Like a friend, you know, somebody that you think is a friend smiling in your face, telling you, you just a, you know, a great friend and so on and so forth. But behind your back, they're laughing, joking and talking or entertaining conversations about you. So the fool card came out twice. Two situations in particular somebody may have felt foolish about, but somebody's decided to move on from even calling people the devil. I mean, for real, everybody has demons. So you definitely feel liberated and free, you know, from some things from your past. And I definitely see somebody moving on. Here we have the two of wands. So this is giving you the green light to go ahead and move on. You have a whole world in front of you. You've definitely gained a lot more wisdom from it definitely a lot more wisdom uh so yeah that's where your tower card is coming in from is here we have the five of wands and also the four of wands two five and four right eleven somebody had to step through 
get off the fence of their emotions and start praying about, you know, praying and also meditating about being able to move forward. So, because somebody was definitely battling something inner going on. Somebody was like, okay, I'm really trying to understand why this is. Like, what is, what is this? Why do I have one moment positive ideas about some things and the next, why do I have negative ideas about some things, right? To see the devil card in your major arcana, um, looking at your cards, uh, Taurus, all I can say looking at your cards and just, you know, the information that's coming to me is the enemy always wants people to not, you know, give source praise like for, okay, well, I have purpose on this planet. Thank God. You know, I'm waking up. I'm all excited telling God, okay, okay. What's my assignment for the day? God, what's my assignment? The enemy always wants you to doubt what your purpose is, right? That you, till you feel like, okay, I don't know why I'm here on this planet. That's the enemy. That's a tool of the enemy. And the only way it can get in is through your mind. And so source is saying, Stop betraying yourself, you know, stop letting, um, you know, all this pain keep you down because that's exactly what the enemy wants you. So that number 10 is the number for instant manifestation. I do see somebody instantly manifesting. I'm getting up, um, taking a leap of faith into my own future. I'm getting back in the saddle again, right? I'm getting off the fence not staying somewhere to a point of burnout and frustration and having my thoughts to go down to the lowest frequency because that's where the tower card is coming in. It's like somebody's thoughts was going down to a dark place. Heartbreak, deep disappointment. So I definitely see you closing that out. Definitely see you closing that out, right? Some kind of heartbreak and deep disappointment that somebody has been hard for somebody to get past all of that. And so something is now closed out, right? Something has been fulfilled, right? You have a guardian angel that's watching over you. So I feel like somebody may have had an angel on one shoulder and a devil on another shoulder, you know, and just like I say right here, the five of wands is kind of that internal battle. But source is saying, I'm actually rewarding you for moving forward. You know, I'm, I'm actually rewarding you for moving forward. And I see some kind of increase in your money. You know, here we have the justice card too. So moving forward, um... I'm trying to see what the other cards are. But anyway, um, so moving forward, I definitely see um, you releasing two situations in particular that for you, you may feel like as you and Libra actually share Venus, something that may have disrupted your peace, right? Two situations in particular, you're saying, I'm taking the sword of truth out. I'm cutting into that. And source is actually rewarding you for closing out the cycle in love and moving forward. That's what I'm seeing for your cards. Because somebody was definitely struggling and battling, you know, something and praying and source help me. You got to help me with this. I can't, I don't see, you know, asking source why, what happened? What, why am I feeling this way about certain things? Why is my heart so deeply disappointed and hurt? Why can't I move past these two things? It could be two friends, two ex love interests, you know, um, to something, but you definitely had an awakening that you too have purpose on this planet and it's time for you to focus on that, to live your best life. And so what was stopping you from living your best life, right? Here we have the Queen of Cups. Here we have the Fold card. Here we have the Knight of uh, Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Three of uh, Swords, and also the Strength card. So this Strength card right here looks like um, Source is just trying to help somebody to you know, operate in meekness and not weakness and not be reactive, you know, to things, um, not react to just that pain. And I'm so hurt and I'm tired of being hurt that I'm going to make some foolish decisions, right? So three things in particular sources saying to you, you may have moved on from that could have to play some kind of role in some kind of emotional wounding, right? But this card right here is more or less about sources approved you to move into your vault door. This is where this page of pentacles is like, now it's okay for you to move into some kind of partnership in business and partnership in love. And also your compassion has increased, you know, after again, coming out of some kind of, you know, like I said, coming out of three and three is six. <clears throat> Somebody was going through a rite of passage. You were going through some kind of a transition 
in your life and just really looking at heart chakra, your definition of love versus other people's definition of love, trust, healing, uh, compassion, like, and, and seeing what other people's definition of those things were, right? Maybe somebody decided to pull their birth chart and go into those other spaces in those other rooms. But I'd see here we have the, the Knight of Wands. I definitely see somebody has decided to, here we have two, five, and seven, seven and four is 11, and night would be minus one, right? So I see somebody being booked and busy instead of burdened, but that's only burden and bitter because that's only because somebody's decided, hey, I need to not be just so reactive. I have purpose just like everybody else has purpose on this planet. I need to remove some energies off of my, my internal scales. I've been carrying all of these these ideas about things in my mind and I need to move on. This right here, this fire in this air, the majority of fire air will actually cut into or burn through someone's money. But you getting to your throne of compassion is almost like somebody says, I need to wash off these um, these wounds here and I need to calm this fire down and I need to. And so whoever that came into somebody's life to help them to recognize you know, until you recognize that you have purpose, this is a tower card right here. Everybody feels like they made poor decisions because you don't know what you're like waiting for somebody to program. What is your purpose? Why are you here on this planet earth? So that's what I'm saying for you, uh, Taurus. So don't be so hard on yourselves. Don't be so hard on yourselves. Don't be so hard on yourselves. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Let me uh, do, 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 do. Okay, let me get this card, these cards right here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, try not to be so hard on yourself. Okay, so somebody's definitely, prayer life has definitely been increased. They felt like looking at the car, somebody felt like they had an angel on one shoulder and a devil on another shoulder. Just like the, front, the Fred Flintstone, I mean, the Flintstones episode. With the devil on the shoulder and angel in another, but I do see somebody feeling like the past is behind you. You definitely had a guardian angel, you know, and um, definitely had a guardian angel helping you. So somebody feels like the past is behind them. So speak that into existence. This is over. I'm going through an emotional roller coaster right now. Tower card came out twice. You know, two situations in particular has caused somebody to be super sensitive, but it's also a reminder to you that you have purpose. You know, the strength card came out twice. Source is saying to you, you know, hang in there with yourself. Here you have guardian. So like I said before, we're going to have to edit this, but you definitely have two guardian angels that's watching over you that definitely know what you've gone through, right? Um, those guardian, because you definitely have uh, ancestors around you, but two guardian angels in particular, that's really helping you to, to close out, to fulfill, like really helping you to learn how this is attached to Saturn, by the way really helping you to um, close out cycles in love, like start to set some very firm boundaries, learn how to enforce those boundaries, like really helping you to get in your masculine energy before you are at a point of burnout and frustration so that you can start receiving exactly what it is that you want in your life. Your wishes can start being fulfilled. And again, like I said, you already been green lighted to go into your vault door you know, inside your vault door is some kind of partnership in love and or in business. And you having a lightning bolt moment is not always a bad thing. It's actually just kind of sort of giving you just the uh, motivation that you need, Taurus, to focus on your purpose. And that was the whole, that was the, the whole purpose of it is that when you notice you have purpose, you look at it and goes, wow, I have to extend myself some grace from the past not knowing, right? Trying to figure it out. Saying like, if it could have felt like for somebody, it feel like everybody else know what their purpose is except you. But um, I do see that changing. I definitely see that changing. Uh, let me see. Hmm, 777, seven, seven. I'm in the flow. And that's what the tower card that reduces to the number seven, too. You came out twice. So seven, 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 I'm in the flow. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you, uh, Taurus, is part of your purpose, a state of peace and calmness in your soul. 
Yep. So I feel like somebody may be a spiritual leader looking at your cars here with all of this fire in the cars. So as your, as your prayer life has increased, source is also downloading some messages to you. Um, if you were praying and also meditating, that's how the message came through faster. So that meditation is like, okay, concentrating and focusing on that. It's not always sitting in a lotus position to meditate It's what you're focusing on. What, what are you for? You could be, uh, the answers could come to you while you're washing dishes. It can come to you while you are taking a bath, a shower, however it comes to you. And whenever it comes to you, I feel like some answers have come to somebody. So let's see, uh, get some more cards here. Hold on. Elevator music. Shamanic wisdom. All right. That's right. Somebody is definitely, like I said, somebody is definitely on their spiritual journey and a lot of awakenings are happening and, you know, try not to be afraid of those awakenings. This is where you start reading more books. This is where you start connecting with more people. You know, you start thinking, okay, what, what does the next whatever look like? Right. So maybe one of your, like I said, your wishes being fulfilled is going to really help somebody to just really put the past behind them, but just get through this moon in Pisces and just recognize that's, that's just the moon in Pisces. Everybody feels that same roller coaster. I like, okay, oh my God, what I have a dream about, what I have a daydream. Why do I feel this way? I need to go flush this out. I have the uh, create, I am the creator of my future and flushing it out could be going to the gym to work out whatever flushing out means to you drinking more water you know, um, fasting, whatever, you know, whatever your doctor says is okay for you to do. All right. One last card and let's go ahead and close it out. Taurus. One last card and let's go ahead and close it out. Let's close it out. Ease. That's right. Ease. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. That's right. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Everything you're already in the flow. Things are coming, flowing to you. Source is actually rewarding you for moving on from some things um, in a loving way and, and taking off of your internal scales anything that has been disrupting your peace, including past memories of things and tapping into that strength and learning how to, like I said, not be reactive um, and even being around those types of energies that's causing you to take action before you've had an opportunity to even process your thoughts, right? <laughs> so you're a divine feminine sign. And so that's where the power lies is that uh, putting control in the, over those emotions. Like where's the, where's the, getting some kind of structure. That's what, that's what this is right here. The tower card came out twice. Like add some kind of structure to these emotions. I mean, come to the realization is like, did those energies distract, I mean, disrupt my peace in any way, shape, form or fashion? Like in this spiritual journey that somebody is on, did you feel comfortable telling people that you're on a spiritual path? Did you feel judged? I mean, um, did you feel like there were energies that you feel like you could open up and talk to about this spiritual dream? That's why I'm saying it because of all of this fire here, your minor arcana, and you have a lot of major things that's happening, like overarching theme that's happening in your life. So here are the questions for you, um, Taurus, in case you want the questions for the moon in Pisces to maybe help you to kind of put some things in order. First question is, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? The second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? The third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? right? And then last but not least is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily, right? That is what I have for you. You're having an awakening that your star is can shine just as bright as anybody else, or even maybe even brighter, really, because again, you have purpose just like everybody else does. So 
that is what I have for you. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.